Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adesha if you are not familiar and I'm finally doing the viral TikTok, you know, mini boho goddess braids. So this is my inspiration on the left from TikTok. Um, she did an amazing job and her hair texture was similar to mine. I do have like 4A type hair so yeah so i started off with making a part in the middle of my ear and then to you know just you know make everything smooth and seamless and straight i did use this let's jam um holding gel so i just kind of um use this to straighten up my parts um so yeah and i did use a three-way mirror i do recommend definitely using a three-way mirror um, to make your parts if you want it to look really neat and nice. So one thing I will mention is um, I wish that I would have did um, smaller parts starting off, but that's okay. So I got that first section. So I'm just starting off by doing a simple braid, divided my hair into three equal parts. So as you can see, I'm doing a braid and then um, I will stop you know it's still towards the top but I'll stop and I'll grab a piece of hair as you can see right here grabbing off one piece of hair and then I'll put that off to the side I'll just hold it in my mouth if I can sometimes my hair is not long enough to reach to my mouth so you can either grab a clip if you want um, yeah so once I grab that piece I go back to those three equal parts and I you know even them out and then I will start to braid again. And I do want to mention that I do have low density hair. So my braids look very skinny. Um, and that's because I have low density hair. If you have high density hair, then your braids are probably going to be a little bit more thicker than, than mine. So just keep that in mind that your braids might not look as small as mine. So normally I will, you know, separate two pieces. So one and two and put those off to the side while I'm braiding. Um, I don't do more than two. And then I'll grab my Eden Body Works Curling Defining Cream and I will um, define those pieces that I separated from the braid and I'll also um, use it on the ends as well and here we are so I'm doing the same exact thing um, so I start off by braiding and then when I feel like I've got a good braid going down then I will grab a piece separate that off from the actual braid and then I'll put that to the side put it in my mouth um, sometimes um, it won't stretch to my mouth so I will either get a clip and then I will continue to braid down and sometimes if the braid is really skinny and then I'll just um, separate only one piece like I did here and then I grab my curl defining cream and just define the pieces that I separated from the braid and I love TikTok, but they don't because the videos are so short, they don't go into depth and don't go into details on, you know, hairstyles or, you know, just certain things because it's very short, like a minute or less, I think. So um, that's why I love YouTube. So one thing that I will, you know, mention and recommend is that once you get towards the very end do not I do not recommend I do not I repeat I do not recommend braiding your hair all the way down to the end please stop about maybe an inch an inch and a half um, above the ends of your hair do not braid all the way down because that will be a complete struggle trying to take down your braids when they are extremely skinny at the ends so you want to um, just curl the ends you know about an inch or an inch and a half up if that makes any sense and I will definitely demonstrate what I'm talking about more 
um, once I um, have more, you know, braids in my head. <laughs> So at this point, it's very, you know, kind of self-explanatory. Um, it's easy. It's more easier to just watch and see what I'm doing and see how I'm just separating the pieces and then, you know, going back in and making the three pieces equal, if that makes any sense. Like, it's just easier to just watch. So I hope you guys, you know, are understanding what I'm saying and getting a, a good visual of what's going on. I really hope you guys are learning something from this. So... Just continue watching. And do you see how towards the end my it's getting very, very skinny. So eventually I just need to just stop. <laughs> like right there. I should have stopped way before that, but you know. And there you have it. Get the curling cream and define those curls because that is how we're going to get the boho goddess, you know, look. You got to define the curls. Get you some curling cream. It don't got to be Eden Body Works, but definitely get you some curling cream. And I did apply that jam to the roots of the braid first just to slick them down. So make sure you're doing that as well. And we are just gonna chill out and sit back and watch. Um, if I have anything more that I need to say, then I will definitely come back and say it. But as of right now, this is very repetitive. So just keep watching for the whole process.
So back to my inspiration. Does my hair look like hers? I think it does. I did my part small. Like I'm feeling it. Like I think I got it. And I also recommend that when you separate the pieces and you know put them off to the side, I recommend getting the piece that is closest towards your face. That way it's gonna be easier for you to either put it you know, in your mouth or either put it to the side or get it clipped because it's closest to your face, closest to your head, if that makes any sense. I am almost done I am halfway through like oh my gosh this took forever but it's well worth it well worth it you guys I can't even tell you how many hours it took because I took several breaks so I'm sorry if I had to give a, like a real estimate I'm gonna say maybe like six or seven hours but I took tons of breaks so I can't even tell you the, min the amount of hours it took for me to do this sorry Yay, we've made it to the top of my head, you guys. And as you can see, um, it's a different day. I know, I'm sorry. It's a different day. My hair has dried in the back because I slept on it. So if you see white pieces just in the front, it's because I just started doing the front and the back was already, you know, done So and slept on, but that's okay. So, you know, continue watching because we're almost done. I'm going to show you the last and final piece because that one's a little tricky because I did, you know, cut my hair in the front for reasons I don't even know why. But if you did cut your hair in the front like I did for reasons, like I said, I don't know why I did it because it was so uneven. But I'll show you guys how I managed to fix that. Here we are on the last and final two pieces but I actually had to combine these two to make one because if you just saw 
the ends are very skinny that's because I cut off like it was just a disaster I don't know why I did that like that but I'm all done all done so in order to fix that you know skinny piece like that I had to combine the two pieces that were closest to the front like that you know just so I can have the little you know little catfish two side pieces on the side like that you know but it manages to work itself out it wasn't a huge issue like it was okay so if you do have to you know actually do something similar to that just combine the pieces it's gonna be all right and get them baby hairs slick them baby hairs down baby okay And as you can see, here is the next day. Um, my hair is dry, so it looks a little bit better on this day. But I styled it, you know, put it up in a little half up, half down. Pieces in the front look, you know. So yeah, I'm very happy with my results. I can't wait to style this some more. I might post another video of me styling it, or I might not because I feel like it's probably no point. But if you want to see that, let me know. I'll definitely post it. I don't mind. So um, here's a close up um, and yeah, these kind of look like, you know, locks, but they're actually braids. So see you in the next video and mwah, mwah, mwah.